Good Thursday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. This is your outlook for August 29th, 2013. And we're starting off with a radar loop for the last 24 hours and uh, showing some uh, some very heavy rainfall that fell over parts of eastern PA today. And uh, some areas actually got uh, some lighter amounts and other areas uh, got really dumped on, especially around the Lehigh Valley here. Uh, you see this is where the precipitation moved down south here. And right over here where that little red spot just popped up there is where we had some tremendous rainfall amounts uh, over three inches. And some, as, some reports as many as five inches of rain, whereas areas just to the southwest down towards Reading here just barely made it to a little over a quarter inch of rain. So uh, it's just a, amazing how just a little bit of uh, distance or, or spacing can make a difference between uh, a lot and uh, not so much at all. But uh, uh, that was the case on, on uh, Wednesday here as this uh, precipitation moved through. This, of course, was ahead of a warm front that moved through with a system that was out here moving from uh, western PA down to the D.C. area and then eventually offshore. Uh, we're looking at today now. Uh, this is off of the, uh, here we go here, there's the off the high res NAM, and we're looking at some uh, very isolated showers and thunderstorms that will pop up today. Uh, we have high pressure that's going to be moving in, it's going to be a battle between high pressure uh, and a northwest flow uh, and a uh, upper level system that uh, will be pushing through here. And uh, so because of that, we're going to be allowing for a shower po uh, possibility. Here's the high res NAM showing that over eastern PA and uh, you know, not a big deal. Just not everywhere gets this uh, shower and thunderstorm activity. This would be late afternoon, early evening. Uh, you could have a passing shower or thunderstorm move through the area, but that's about it. And then uh, we think high pressure is going to move in behind this, and then uh, you set up your Friday to be a nice day. Here's the European model showing very, very basically the same thing with uh, just some isolated uh, shower or thunderstorm activity. Nothing like it was on Wednesday. Uh, so this is your Thursday. High pressure is going to move in behind this and uh, set up uh, a very nice day on Friday and that's going to be your, your break day and then uh, as this sinks to the south there's going to be a system that's going to be allowed to come in uh, it's actually out in the Midwest have a warm front attached to it. it's going to push through the area here late Saturday I think uh, most of Saturday is okay I think it's just late in the day uh, late afternoon evening time frame you're going to get into a chance for showers and thunderstorms with warm air advection out ahead of the warm front uh, that's going to be pushing through and allow for those showers and thunderstorms and you can see that here here's Saturday afternoon at uh, 2 p.m. and uh, I said most of the activity is off to the north here but as we go further in time uh, past that point uh, we do get into the showers and thunderstorms by Saturday evening so uh, it might just be for the northern areas. We'll have to wait and see how that how that plays out. But there will be a warm front moving through, and then it looks like Sunday you're going to be in the warm sector. If the warm front uh, moves through, uh, there's eventually going to be a cold front. This can be very slow to move uh, move through. Uh, have the it'll have the uh, warm front attached over here like this. Of course, I didn't draw that line very very well. Uh, and being warm sector on this side of the uh, warm front, you're going to have the showers and thunderstorms. Uh, on Sunday as this uh, pushes through here and here you can see those showers and thunderstorms on th on uh, Sunday and probably even more so on on Monday here's that cold front coming through but again it's gonna be very slow to move through you're also gonna have a prefrontal trough out ahead of it and that's gonna be the focus of showers and thunderstorms wherever that trough sets up and when in the uh, then again when the uh, cold front moves through uh, what about we're not expecting that to move through actually until a little bit later uh, probably uh, over on on uh, Monday night or, or Tuesday. Here's uh, here's a look at Tuesday afternoon. The front's clear of the coast at this point, and uh, maybe some lingering shower, maybe a lingering shower on Tuesday before it moves out. But then high pressure is going to move in behind this, and we're going to get us some really chilly air uh, for this time of year behind that frontal boundary as we get into uh, next week. Here's a look at the GFS. So these are forecast highs on the GFS for early for this will be Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Temperatures here are uh, in the Poconos just barely, uh, you know, barely getting out of the 40s here, almost getting down to the 30s in some areas, but uh, back into the 40s here for lows, uh, you know, even from the uh, from Harrisburg area to the Lehigh Valley, northwest New Jersey, it could be in the low to mid 40s for lows if the GFS is correct. So we'll take a look at that as we get uh, further into next week here. But unfortunately, I don't have the best news for you for the holiday weekend. It's Labor Day holiday weekend. Uh, most people have off on Monday. Monday does not look like it, the best of days right now. But we might be able to time this just right where most of it falls during the nighttime or 
uh, doesn't ruin too much of the day here. So I don't want anybody uh, to get too excited here about how the how the uh, entire weekend is going to be ruined yet. But there will be a chance for showers and thunderstorms just about any time as we get from the late Saturday through Monday time frame. That's all I have for today. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for August 29th, 2013. Have a great Thursday.